Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is uh, Jeremy C. And we're going to do a stencil tutorial. As you can see, I already got my stencil on my machine. If you don't have yours, you can go to stencil.com and download it as S-T-E-N-C-Y-L dot com. And once you get it downloaded and installed, uh, you have a screen just like this. And in order to create a game, you won't have all these extra uh, games and stuff up here. You just have basic blank screen with nothing in there until you download this stuff. I downloaded it all from Stencil Forge just for having fun with. Okay, then you want to install your Crash Course Kit, which per the per the way it says, it says view the game folder. And in here, you want to put a file called, uh, a folder called Crash Course Kit once you've downloaded it from their website or from the stencil forge which I uploaded it just for the purpose of um, once you've un unzipped your file it'll look something like this it'll say crash course kit inside it it will have your Mac operating crash course kit or the Windows based crash course kit you want to take if you're on Windows take this one and shove it into the games folder don't go crazy nuts with uh, um, trying to install the uh, outer uh, file like I did and end up not being able to get it to work. So we're going to close out all these little windows. And we're going to go back to the Crash Course Kit. Now we've got our Crash Course Kit installed. You would click on this and you would click on uh, Crash Course. So then you would hit Next. You would type in the name of your uh, uh, game that you want to create. Then the width and the height. And which I'm not going to do that. I'm going to jump back because I'm going to go back to the one that says Crash Course. Which is... A blank one already set up and ready to go. I just wanted to show you that you just click on where it says click here to create a new game. I'm gonna go into the Crash Course Kit. Okay, you will have a screen that looks like this. You will have uh, you will have two actor types. I'm having way too much fun. You will have two actor types. You'll have Mambo and Pronger. Down here you'll have Jump and Stomp and Sound. You have your tile set, which is the one that came with it. In here. These are not in there. Ugh. I was having way too much fun. As you can see, down here you'll have five uh, um, pre-installed actor behaviors, which is die in, pit, uh, and reload, um, jump, stomp, stompable, and walking. That is what you should have in your kit. So it'd be the two actors, two sounds, one tile set, and five behaviors. Okay, so first off, we need to create a scene. Okay, we're going to want to give it a name. So we're going to call this level one. Level one. And your tile width and tile height, you can leave that alone. Um, as you can see here, it says 32 by 32, which we're, we'll change those in later videos. And I'll show you what it does and how it does in other videos. Uh, down here at the bottom, in the, in the Crash Course tutorial, it says we're going to change our background. So um, he shows that he uses variant for the background and he went with the uh, dark blue with the uh, light blue and then it create this creates our scene with our background already in the set as you can see it, it's a nice pretty color okay then over here on this side we have our tiles and our actors and once you've decided what you want, you can just click anywhere on any of these in order to get it. If you want to take an actor, you just click on the actor that you want. And make sure that it's highlighted around the outside of your item. Because if it's not highlighted, that means it's not the one that's selected. And <laughs> it'll drive you up the wall. So make sure it's always selected that you want. Okay? And we're just going to place tiles anywhere you want. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to make it nice and simple and easy, just like in the original. It was one ground and two actors, which was our mumbo. And make sure to hit uh, uh, snap to grid when you're putting stuff in, um, because he, he will float on top. Okay, now we got that. Uh, now we got to our actors already in place. If you're uh, having problems staying along with me, you can always pause the video. Okay, um, since we need to work on our uh, um, physics, which means our gravity. See, this says gravity vertical and gravity horizontal. If you put the horizontal gravity, that means 
keel slide to the side no matter what. If you put uh, vertical gravity is pushing down on him. You can also change that to where the vertical gravity is negative and it will make him like float off the ground. Or again, negative here, it push him towards the thing. Like if, if you have a screen where you want it to constantly move like in uh, uh, Mario where the screen is always chasing you. You set the gravity and it will constantly push him whether he wants to go or not. So that's uh, um, one way to do it so that uh, uh, um, they have to move instead of being able to stop. Uh, if you set the gravity really hard, that that's one way to keep him moving. Also, again, if you want him to have it where he's, he's got to keep going up, 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 set the gravity. And, and, and if he doesn't stay ahead of it, the gravity will push him up anyhow. Okay? That's just one way to do it. But we're going to set this here to 85 per the, the original tutorial. And that's our gravity. We're going to check our properties again. We got our variance already in there. Okay. So if you wanted, you could put a background in here. You would just click on it and add your background picture. But that's not part of this tutorial. Um, this is events. This would be on the scene events and behaviors. So if there was something specific to the scene, you would use that. So we'll go back to our scene. We have our two characters in place. And we'll test our scene. You can either test the scene or test the game. So if you want to just test one area, you would just hit test scene. If you wanted to test the whole thing, then you would hit test game. And as you can see, we have two players in the screen, and you can't do anything with them. You can't. Oh, I still have my my stuff set on him, so he he he's he's uh, walking. He's not supposed to be. Okay, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you that next. In here, we go back to our dashboard. We want to go to our players. We'll click on Mambo. And in here, we have behaviors. As you can see, he has the walking and jumping. We're going to remove those and show you how I set those up. Because he's not actually supposed to have those yet. Per your tutorial. Okay, so you would just click on add a behavior. And you would add walking. Okay, in here, the next part, it says you want your right key. You can have it be anything you want. Um, then you want your left key so that he's walking side to side. Down here, these are your animations. Your idle right, idle left, walking right, walking left. Those are all his basic functions of this, uh, um, this behavior module. So we want idle right and hit OK. Then we choose idle left, hit OK. Then we're going to choose walking right, hit OK. Choosing walking left, hit OK, and that's our walking module in place. If you wish to see or modify this in any way, you would click Edit Behavior. And this is not part of that tutorial, so don't get mad if I'm just showing you all the neat little things that are, are, are well on their way for you to play around with. You can always change it however you want. You can make it mouse clicks versus keyboard clicks. Um, so it's really up to you because all you have to do is change it around. Okay, let's get out of walking. And now we're going to add the jump behavior. Add jump behavior. And we want to set jump. And this is to add sound. So we would want to him to sound like a boing when he jumps. This is our jump right. This is our jump left. It's pretty self-explanatory once you actually start playing around with these little behavior module things. Uh, a lot of them just ask you for basic information. Some of them don't. And, and it's really uh, confusing once you start trying to play with someone else's module who didn't leave enough details to tell you what it does. Okay, so we have walking, jumping. We need to add another behavior at a later time, which we can add now is the die on pit and reload. That means if you go off the screen and you fall, you die, 
and he'll the whole thing will reload and there's nothing really to edit here it just once he dies he, he comes back and it starts the game all over again okay so we'll go back in here this is Ponger as you can see these are his animations you can change them any which way you want you can add multiples in in a single one just like this one has two if you add more and more and more it, it just makes him look more animated versus just standing still and sliding across the screen um, but we need to put his behaviors in and we need to remove that okay as Pronger doesn't really have a lot of behaviors in here. You would go uh, uh, motion, and you can select whatever you want. You want him to sti be stimulated. You want him back and forth, up and down, bounce off walls. Uh, um, you want him locked to a screen, can't leave the screen, face direction or motion, um, face target, which this is used in a lot of games where the character is always looking at you whether you want him to or not. Uh, follow target. This one is pretty fun when you want him to uh, like just chase uh, uh, you around. Um, so it's really up to you what you want to use. But in the tutorial, they use the back and forth motion only. So when you set it, it is his speed you can change. Um, initial direction is left or right is your choices. Uh, leave it at the default. Uh, mine is set as a, a hundred, but you can put it at anything you want. So once you have that set, now you have uh, make sure your pronger is set uh, right. He is an enemy. Mine keeps changing because I keep playing with him. Um, it's also uh, affected by gravity. Should be no. Cannot be pushed. Should be on. If you wish him to be affected by gravity, you would have to turn him to normal, and then hit yes, and then click it back to can't be pushed, because for some reason, if it's not, then you can't change it back and forth when you say can't be pushed. See, that option is not available to you, so you'd have to turn him to normal in order to turn that on or off. And then, like I said, can't be pushed, because we don't want the, the uh, player to push through it. Okay, so as you can see, these are his collisions. Um, you can make bigger boxes, smaller boxes, add circles, whatever you want to do. Want to make it smaller? That's up to you. This tells you uh, the whole details. And when adjusting this, uh, you have to figure it out exactly where you want it by reading these little numbers on the bottom of the screen. This says uh, 46 and 44. And it keeps changing, so if you wanted to bring it in so that its nose was out a little bit, you would set it at 8 to the left by 8 down, so that his nose would ram through whoever it was, more, look, making it look more like he collided with him, instead of uh, um, just hit it just barely on the nose. Okay, so that's talking about how to set up your uh, collision detection. And we'll move into the actual setting this guy up. Okay, we got everybody ready. We went in and did our physics at 85. Um, these are done. Okay, so now we can hit test game. Yeah, we don't have background music, so I'm making up my own. Okay, as you can see, we're now able to move, and our pronger just went off the screen because he set it 100 by 100. And as you can see, I cannot jump on him. You can make him where you can stand on him and ride on him like a platform if you wanted, but that's in a different tutorial too. So we're going to go right on to and off the side. And as you can see, when I died, it reset because I am dead. So that's what that uh, um, die in pit and reload does. Is once you die, you see how it fades out and then puts you back. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial on the basics of how to get started with the crash course. Catch me in the next one, and we'll continue the crash course. Have a great one. Bye.